Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to talk to you about generosity. And the reason I want to talk to you about it is because it's something that, well, I certainly and a lot of people, I suppose in my culture, in my society, um, and many of the societies I've lived in, because I've lived in a number of countries, grew up believing that to be a good person, you should be generous. But what I've learned is that there's two ways to be generous. You can be generous because you believe you should be generous, and that's how being a good person behaves. And this kind of generosity comes from a place of having to behave in a certain way to be acceptable. It's almost like being a good person is the only way to survive and that plays back into all of the survival mechanisms and the, the level, the different aspects of our human needs, which I've spoken about before, but I'll put links to the video that I've spoken about them in the show notes below, as well as links to Tony Robbins, who was the first person who kind of came up with these human needs. Although I think he kind of got the idea from somebody else, but anyway, <laughs> I digress. But the reason I want to share this with you is because quite often when people believe that they have to be generous to be a good person and that being a good person is the only way to survive in this world, that that generosity becomes a burden. It can, can become something that if you're being generous from that space and it's not appreciated or returned or given back, then there can be a lot of bitterness and anger and hurt and frustration because if you're giving to other people and they don't seem to give to you, when you're coming from that place, it can leave you feeling hurt, um, ignored, underappreciated, um, and many other things. And the reason I'm bringing this is because it's just such a subtle difference. The other way to come at generosity is to come at it from a place of abundance, a place of wanting to give because it gives you joy to give, a place where there's no expectation that the generosity that you offer others will ever be returned. Um, it's a place that you give because it gives you joy, that the actual act of giving is so enriching in your life that you don't need anybody to appreciate it, you don't even need recognition for it. And, and I just wanted to share that with you because I know many people who are incredibly generous, but they, they give from the place of feeling that that's what they should do to be a good person. And they become hurt, they become resentful, um, and I think they feel quite depleted eventually. Because when you give from that place, and it isn't reciprocated, then you sort of are left being the only one doing the giving. When you give from a place of abundance and joy, the more you give, the more joyous you are. So there is no need for it to be acknowledged or accepted or appreciated by anybody else. There is so much joy from the actual action of it that no acknowledgement is actually necessary. It's something I make a point of in my life, is that when I decide to give of whatever, be it my time or money or attention or my knowledge or whatever it is, I do it from a place of not expecting anything or I try to do it from a place of not expecting anything. Sometimes I don't quite get it right. But I do it, I try to do it from a place of when I feel I have enough to give, so not feeling like I have to give or I should give or that it's my duty or that I'm not a good person if I don't give, but feeling that I'm, when I choose to give, I give when I feel I have enough to give. If I'm exhausted and depleted, that's not a good space to give because then I get resentful because I don't feel abundant in myself. I choose to give when I feel abundant, when I have enough time, enough money, um, when I feel that I, I might know something that might help somebody else, um, then it's my joy to give. And even when I see beggars on the street, I give when I feel that giving to them gives me joy. When I feel that I'm giving to them or I'm thinking of giving to them because I feel that it's the right thing to do, um, I, I don't actually do it, which I feel awkward saying that because it's something that makes me feel awkward doing it because society, it's been so ingrained in me that it is good to be generous. But I purposefully feel that I'd be dishonoring myself if I was to do that for the purpose of fitting in. And something that I really love to do, and I actually haven't done it in a while, so I'm going to do it, is to give anonymously. So what I do is I go into a coffee shop or a restaurant or anywhere, and 
when I buy myself a coffee or a hot chocolate, not coffee, I don't even drink coffee, <laughs> tea or a hot chocolate or whatever it is, I pay for two or I will buy a muffin or something like that, but I won't take it. I will pay for it and then I'll just simply say to the person behind, whoever comes in here next um, and asks for this, please can you just tell them it's being paid for? And that way the person receiving whatever it is that I've paid for doesn't even know that it's me. I don't get the satisfaction of seeing the gift being given and it's just purely the generosity of it that gives me the joy. I tried to teach my kids about this when they were younger and one of the ideas they came up with as we were driving down the street is to just throw some money out the window and whoever happened to pick it up would be you know who it was meant to be for. There's many things you can do with this kind of ideology um, and you can have lots and lots of fun with it and if you do come up with some ideas that I haven't shared I would really really love to hear from them. Um, I've got, I'm on social media on LinkedIn, Facebook, um, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, but not so much on Twitter. All the links will be below so if you do come up with something find me on one of those platforms and I would really love to hear from you. Um, aside from that, I have loads of resources on my website, the link again is below, and you can find my online courses, my free five day abundance course, and if you want to do any coaching with me, just send me a direct message and we can organise to have a free chat and see if we would be compatible. Lots and lots of love from me to you. Bye bye.